this is a band, a band where there's a lot of people that plays different instruments and they play songs. Have you ever been to a parade and heard a band? Well, this was written by Jonathan London and illustrated by Frank Remkiewicz. It's a scholastic book and it's going to be really good. Froggy plays in the band. Froggy is called Froggy because he's a frog. At school one day, Froggy read a sign. It said, Marching Band Contest. Big prize. Great, said Froggy. A band contest. He flopped over to see Miss Martin, the music teacher. Flop, flop, flop. What's the big prize? asked Froggy. It's a surprise, she said. If you and your friends start a marching band and compete against other schools in the Apple Blossom Parade, you can win the prize. This is Miss Martin. She's the um, teacher, the music teacher, and she plays the piano. Have you ever heard a piano play? It's beautiful. What will I play? Wonder Froggy. Then he remember his dad old sack. And after school, he flopped up to the attic, flop, 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 and started blowing his dad's horn. Honk, bleep, screech. Mmm, he needs a little practice. That doesn't sound too good to me. What about you? Foggy, cried his dad. What? Quiet, please. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone, too, cried Froggy. The saxophone, honk. Yeah, that was cute. Uh-oh, look it, they got a band together. Next day, Froggy got his band together and they practiced in his yard. Max on the drums, kaboom. That's the drum and that's Max, kaboom. Leah, this is Leah on the triangle, ting-a-ling. And then Leah on, excuse me, Emma on the recorder, Twiddle D and Hannah, her twin, on cymbals. Clash. And who is this? You're right. That's Foggy on the saxophone. Did you notice all these people are covering their ears? They must need a lot of practice. I don't think they're sounding too good right now. I want to join too, said Fogalina. What do you play? asked Foggy. Nothing, she said, but I can do this. And she twirled a baton, tossed it high into the air, and caught it behind her back. Ta-da! That was real good. Every day after school, Foggy's ragtag band marched around and around the playground. Honk! Kaboom, tingling, twiddle dee, clash. And there she goes, Fogelina, twirling her baton and throwing it high into the sky. And every day, Miss Martin told them the rules for marching. Don't look left, don't look right, and don't stop for anything. What if you have to go to the bathroom, asked Foggy. Don't. Stop for anything, commanded Miss Martin, or everybody behind you will crash into you. Ooh, they don't want that to happen. Three weeks left, Foggy was practicing on the saxophone. Two weeks left, Foggy was still practicing on the saxophone. I bet you he's getting better. Because do you know practice makes perfect? If you keep practicing, you'll get better and better. One week left, Foggy practiced marching everywhere, even in his sleep. Look at him. That's cute. He's sleeping and got his hands holding the saxophone and his feet is marching. He's really practicing, even in his sleep. At last, the big day came. The apple trees had burst into bloom and the parade was ready to begin. Everybody was nervous, especially froggy 
Miss Martin said, now remember, don't look left, don't look right, and don't stop for anything. And the parade began. Being the youngest, Foggy Fan marched in front, led by the majorette, the one and only Fogalina. Look at her, and she's stepping high and twirling her baton. Foggy, called his father. He was jumping up and down on the sidelines, but Foggy didn't look. Foggy, called his mother. She was aiming a camera. But Foggy didn't look. Cameras flashed, clowns threw candy, and still Foggy marched, looking straight ahead. Here come, came the judges' stand. This was the big moment. See, these are the judges here. They're going to rate how good they did, and if they did real good, they can win the big surprise. Fogalina twirled her baton. She tossed it high into the air, and Foggy thought, don't look back, I mean, excuse me, don't look left, don't look right, and bonk, her baton hit him on the head and knocked him down. Whoops, cried Foggy, looking more red in the face than green. Oof, clang, crash, and the rest of the parade piled on. Oh, they all fell on top of him. Foggy, cried Miss Martin. What? came a muffled cry. Are you all right? Foggy crawled out from the bottom of the heap and said, Don't stop for anything, and started to wail a wild swamp tune on his saxophone. He got up from underneath that pile and started playing his saxophone. The rest of his band joined in, and everybody danced in the street. And when the judges' vote came in, Foggy's ragtag band had won a special award, coolest marching band at the Apple Blossom Parade. What's the big prize? asked Foggy. This is, said Fogalina, and she gave him a big juicy kiss, smack on his cheek. Yeek! Then the judges gave Foggy and his band the real prize, a big golden trophy in the shape of a saxophone. Oh, that was nice. Yes, cried Froggy, and Froggy's ragtail band played one last time. Honk, kaboom, ting-a-ling, twiddle-dee, clash. Wasn't that good? A marching band. Maybe one day you'll be in a marching band. So think about what instrument you want to play and I'll see you again soon.